Ken Surf's here, and it's time for a Sunday shave. We're back in the shave den. I uh, finally got out that pinball video, and some of you are probably commenting, hey, you know, Ken, this is a shaving channel. You're doing pinball videos, but, you know, every once in a while I mix it up and I throw in something else. But this is a shave video, and I've been waiting for these uh, products. In fact, I had a mail call, uh, a couple of items came, but this one uh, particular came from Scotland, and it's from Bart's Balms. It's from uh, from Scotland, the UK, and because of that, uh, because of those hurricanes on the east coast of the United States, the mail in the United States has just been terrible. And my thoughts and prayers go to out to all of you guys. I mean, two hurricanes back to back. Uh, just just got hammered on the east coast of the United States. So a lot of the mail, uh, I'm still waiting. Uh, I live 20 miles from Los Angeles. There's something in Los Angeles I've been waiting a week for, and it hasn't arrived yet. So I think because the outgoing mail is screwed up, the in incoming mail has been screwed up. But this package arrived, and it is from Bart's Balms, and I got some really cool aftershave balms. And I put these to the test today. Well, that's my daughter and wife. I said, which one of these should I try first? So uh, they, they went through them. Uh, my sniffer's not as good as it used to be. They went through them and they said they all smell real good. She goes, oh, Dad, the uh, peppermint, though, is extremely strong, which I like. So this would have been my first choice. But they both decided that uh, I should do the uh, amber. Let's see here. The... Amber, Jasmine, and Mor Amber and Moroccan Jasmine. There we go. My eyes aren't the greatest, and that writing's pretty small. So we'll be using this today. And then the lime, the lime oil, we'll be using that in the future. And they also, uh, I was watching Kevy Shave's review of these products, and they said if it's not, it's from Scotland, so therefore it's got to be good. He said some other funny stuff too, but I won't mention it. But what I, what I don't like to do is when I get some of these items, if I watch other people's reviews, I'm afraid I'm going to repeat something that they've said, and then it won't, won't be genuine or honest. So uh, there's probably about five or six reviews out of there. Out of the Friendship Shaving, Another Cut Above, uh, Paul H., Kevy, uh, have tried these products. So I only took a quick peek at Kevy's, since he's from Scotland. And uh, there's a couple of more items, which are actually uh, cool mini. Cool minis, look at these. And these are the... Uh, after shaves themselves. So I'll be trying these out in a later video. But today we're gonna try out the uh, the one that I just mentioned. Man, I'm putting too many out. I'm probably gonna grab the wrong one. The Amber and Moroccan Jasmine. And it does, does smell really good. It smells like a cologne. My wife and daughter said, this smells like a cologne. So it'll be kind of nice smelling when I'll be going to a, an Angels baseball game today. I believe it's the last, the last home game uh, for the Angels, uh, but it's this afternoon, Sunday afternoon, so I've got my Angels jersey on here. I'll be doing that. Uh, this shave today, I'll be using the Blackhawk razor from Razor Rock, and it's got some, the pink blades in it, single edge blades. Uh, these are mild. These are the pinks from Captain Kai. And uh, if you've never seen one of these, they're kind of a cool looking blade. This one I had in for about four shaves and it, it, it held out really good. And I just took it out and I put a brand new one in today. Some of the fans of the uh, Sterling said, hey, can get some Sterling uh, uh, shave soap out there again. Orange chill. So I'll be using that today. And I'm breaking out the, uh, since it's kind of a UK shape, uh, I'm breaking out the Simpson Chubby One today. One of my uh, favorite Simpson brushes. It's what my dad used. I lost his. I've held up after 20, 25 years. If I still had it, I'd be shaving with it. But when we went through and cleaned out, you know, got dumped. So let me soak that in some water right now. And we'll get ready for the shave. Hope your weekend is go has been good. Still going good. Oh man, this is hot, hot, hot water. There's the phone. If it rings once, the Nomo Robo will pick it up. It rang once. That means it's a robot caller, 
one of those, we're having an election coming up and I'm getting bombarded with stupid election crap. Kind of pisses me off. All right. Get this working here. Get this work. Oh, sure does smell good. It's gonna be a nice warm day today. I hope it doesn't hit 80 degrees. Be stuck in the sun, be definitely sunburnt. I live very close to Angel Stadium and I have not went to a game, I think in two years. They're not doing very good this season, but yeah, it's nice to get out to a ball game, right? Look at that. Now, some of you are gonna comment negative on my shave today because I'm not gonna shave off my mustache. And there's a reason for that. Halloween's coming up. And can you guess who I'm gonna go as this Halloween? I need a mustache, so I don't wanna stick a phony one on. I'll try to grow one in the worst case, I don't, you know, I don't lather it up anyway, so I have a guideline. I'm going as a Magnum PI this year. Might be having a Halloween party. In fact, one week from now, I'm going to Disneyland with my daughter for her birthday for Halloween. They open the park up in the evening. They kick everybody out and then they open it up for like a Halloween uh, party. And I think it's from seven till midnight. And uh, you have to have a special wristband and you get in. It's just great. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to grow a mustache in one week for my costume that they uh, I will be wearing that night. But for the Halloween party one month from now, I should have a mustache going. So someone will be saying, oh, I'll get rid of that mustache. Or a short costume. Oh man. I like the length on that razor compared to a, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, we'll line it up. Probably a half inch longer than a regular DE blade. You can really knock the beard down. And you look, you can see, I got some good beard going. Gotta be careful, I don't forget. Trap wrap mustache. So I've been talking to Neil Bartholomew from Scotland, uh, who owned, or the owner of Bart's Bombs. And uh, what a nice guy. He was asking me, hey, I shipped this stuff a while ago. Did it arrive? And I told him about the hurricanes. And he says, well, it could be, be the Scottish mail. And I said, no. Nah. I can't even get US mail from 20 miles away. So. so I hope you guys who are on the East Coast made it through. I know a lot of the viewers are back there. A lot of the guys who comment all the time. Hope your houses are intact. The property, your life, your limb, and your friends are all okay. Maybe Mother Nature could send some of that rain over here. Put out those fires. Still burning up in Northern California. All right. Oops. I wet this too much. I knew that would happen. I dipped it in the water. I dipped it in the water. See, thin. You know, a thin shave works good for me. I have no issues, no irritations. Some of you have to have super thick. Now it's thick again, see. That's one thing about the sterlings. All right. Blooper. Well, the razor fell. Uh, the bomb fell. We're still in business. Whew. Look at how much that takes off. Uh, 
got a couple of uh, single blades. A lot of you, uh, in fact, somebody had just asked, he said, I've started wet shaving. I've been using a safety razor. I'm about to use my first single blade, single edge razor. Any advice? If you've got a good one, you got a good blade. It's pretty much the same as a safety razor. I see no real differences. That knocked that down nice. Third pass. I left some up here, but I get no hair up there. Someone will notice that. They'll say, hey, you left soap on your chin, you missed it. No hair there. So I don't shave my forehead. Man, this does smell like oranges. I got the sandalwood uh, sterling, I got the uh, black cherry, I've got the orange, but uh, I think I like the orange the best. Sandalwood, sandalwood. Some of you aren't big fans of sandalwood. All right. As I said, I'm going to have to have a ton of sunscreen on today. Again, my neck grows at a 45 degree angle. So I have a weird way of uh, last passes across. Halloween coming up again, and a new Halloween movie with Jamie Lee Curtis. Can you believe it? It's like the other movies didn't happen. I think it's following the first one immediately. Good premise. The first movie to scare the hell out of me. 1978, 16 years old, Halloween. I think I told that story. We have uh, the Westminster Mall near me and they have a movie theater in the mall. It's a fourplex and then outside in the parking lot they have a big, they had, they're all gone now, but they had a dual, a twin. And we were inside the mall and I was trying to see the Kentucky Fried movie and I was 16 and you gotta be 17 to see a rated R movie. And we actually snuck in and Got kicked out. They put their hand on their shoulder. Get out. Gave my money back. I was so pissed off. I go, man, I want to see an R-rated movie. Went to the parking lot. I go, Halloween, rated R. What's that movie about? <laughs> I went in with my friend. They let us in that one. Didn't card us. Holy crap. Scared the hell out of me. All right. Bart's. We'll try this out. All right, Neil. We'll see how... One, two, three, four. Kevy did three... I'm going to do four. This uses argon oil. A-R-G-A-N. Argon oil. It's supposed to... Oh, well, I tell you very much. It <sighs> smells great. Very smooth. No burn. 
Very nice. Doesn't look oily. Feels good. Mm. Not a very strong scent, which I like. If I wanted a strong scent, I'd throw on some cologne. But uh, oh, does feel very well. And this is very smooth. It was a very smooth shave today. No cuts. Wow. Well, it felt great. So you're seeing it for the first time. Didn't burn me. Yeah, Argon, A-R-G-A-N, Argon Oil Infused. I read on his webpage that uh, it's one of the best oils for skin and stopping razor bumps and irritation. And uh, I can tell you, feels good, no complaints here. And my follow-up, I'll let you know how it feels like five hours from now after I've been sunburned. But uh, hey, very nice, Neil. Thank you uh, very much for uh, being patient with me and thinking of me out here in the United States. I know the other, there are some from the United States who had done the reviews already and I know I'm late to the party. I've seen some of those reviews come out in April and uh, then it's suggested to me to try out some of these uh, products. So uh, cost was reasonable. I think it was about six pounds uh, sterling. I don't know what, and in fact, I asked, I said, are you selling these products in uh, any of the brick and mortar stores in the United States? And he said, not yet. So it's nice when some of these artisans or these uh, soap companies from the UK and Europe have things on the shelves available here in the United States. And you can just go sample them and you don't have to take my word for it. You can, you can smell them. Uh, that's always a nice thing to, to be able to do. But he said, not yet. So I'm hoping that uh, we see a lot of his products out here in the US soon. And uh, wow, I want to try some of the, uh, see if I mix, I'm not going to mix. I'll do another shave with some of the other stuff. If you mix, you kind of get, uh, <laughs> hey, I got the, an amber smell with a peppermint smell. With a, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for your subscriptions. I appreciate it. We're about 20 people away from a giveaway. I've got some nice items to give away uh, this next one. So uh, that'll be coming up shortly. I've got uh, another package from uh, Sebum Gold. We'll be, uh, we'll be trying that out uh, soon. They both arrived the same day, but I've been waiting for this one for a lot longer. And that's why, uh, and if it, one had been a, a shaving cream and one had been an aftershave, I'd have been able to combine them, but they both happen to be post shaves. So I couldn't do both of that. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And I uh, do appreciate it, and we'll look forward to another video, and I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Have a great weekend.